Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. Today is my preview for Grimsby Town against Tramie Rovers on the 17th of March 2021. 7, uh, 7 o'clock kickoff on Wednesday evening. Massive game for the Whites. Tramie travel down to Blunder Park where uh, Grimsby play their home games. Grimsby are not in great form right now because they got a 0-0 draw against Colchester at home on Saturday evening. Which I think their game was at half five. And obviously Tromy Rivers didn't play because obviously. Because Tromy Rivers were at Wembley on Sunday. Tromy Rivers played really well in that game. But I think if Tromy Rivers did have a striker. I, I, I honestly think we would have won the game. But we just didn't have a striker on, on the pitch in the first half. Because we had Paul Lewis as our striker. And he's not a striker. I, I, I just don't know what... Um, Keith Hill seen, seen him as be as our striker for the game. Obviously, it was a massive chance to to get a goal in the game. Obviously, because Tommy Rivers played really well. But if Tommy Rivers played that kind of football in the first half, I don't see why not. Why we can't hammer them on Wednesday. Obviously, Grimsby are in the bottom two. I think in their twenty third or twenty fourth. I'm not too sure. I think the twenty third. But yeah. This game is huge for Tromie Rivers if we want to win this game. So talking about um, uh, uh, Grimsby, their their manager is Paul Hurst. Obviously, he overtook uh, Ian Holloway, who got sacked because I think um, I think he got sacked the uh, the day after Tromie Rivers uh, hammered done five 0 at home, which Tromie Rivers won five 0 which was in was amazing. Obviously, goals from James Vaughan that's got two goals. Obviously, he will not be playing because he's injured. Um, Peter Clark scored. Oh, it's Con and Paul Lewis, and a few of uh, other players from Grimsby are uh, Luke Waterfall, who's a defender. I, I'm sure he's played for Tramway a few years ago. Sean Scannell, obviously, he used to play for Blackpool, I think, and the next Tramway Rose player, Stephen Payne. It would not surprise me if he scored against us. Because every former player that plays against Tommy, they always score. So it wouldn't surprise me if they, he did score. But I don't think they'll win this game. So yeah. Talking about Grimsby's last game. That was a 0-0 draw against Colchester at home. But Grimsby are on in great form right now. Obviously with that draw. And obviously... Because where they are in the league, I don't think they're going to be good enough to beat Tramier. Obviously, Tramier are on good, good record, on a good form. Obviously, we've been we got beat against Stevenage, which was a stupid result, and we just didn't play well that well in that game. But yeah, playing against Sunderland on Sunday, which was yesterday, I thought we were absolutely fantastic. But I think. In the final third, I didn't think we were that good. Obviously, second half, we weren't as good as we were in the first half. I thought we were fantastic in the first half. But yeah, if we create chances in the in the in this game on Wednesday, I think we'll win. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be saying three one Tramia. But yeah, I will be saying my goal scorers when I've done my team. So yeah, um. So talking about um this for this game for Trammy versus Grimsby, my team would be Davison goal, um Otis Khan. I thought Otis Khan played fantastic yesterday. Obviously with his crosses, if we had a striker, we could have had a goal. If Vaughan was playing, we would have had a goal. Possibly two nil, three nil, maybe. But yeah. Fair play to Sunderland, they won it. They, they were, they're they a bigger team than Tramia, but they are a good team, and obviously Sunderland are in League One, and obviously they're fighting for promotion, just as just as bad as what Tramia are doing. Obviously, we want to go up to League One this season, which that would be fantastic. So, yeah, Davison, goal, Otis Khan, Peter Clark, George Ray, uh, Cal McDonald, Personally, I, I think Ride should be given a chance, but personally, I think um, Keith Hill will choose McDonald. 
My midfield three would be Paul Lewis. I thought Paul Lewis didn't really play that well on yesterday, obviously because he was our striker, and obviously he's not a striker. He's a midfielder. And obviously he scored against South um South End last Tuesday. Obviously it was a decent goal, but yeah, with the tuna win. I think Jay Swearing was class yesterday, he was my man of match. Danny Lloyd as our midfield three with Feeney, Nugent and Corey Blackett Taylor for the R front three. Obviously if Corey Blackett Taylor comes in I think he will do a good a good job obviously I think he will make um Grimsby players really scared because I think Corey Blackett Taylor is a great player. He came on for the last twenty five minutes against Sunderland and he done really well obviously he beat defenders and obviously he got crosses in but we could just couldn't fit that final third in, obviously, with the goal with a striker. But when Nugent came in, I thought it was just a bit too late. Obviously, giving him about 20 minutes. I just didn't think we should have started with Nugent. But, yeah. But my goal scorers for this game, I think I think Grimsby's goal scorer would be Stefan Payne, obviously, at ex Tramier. For Tramier to win 3-1, I'm going to say Kane Woolery, Leon Feeney and... David Nugent, David Nugent to get his first goal for Tom Rose, which I, I'm hoping he does, because he deserves it, I think he's been a great player, and obviously I know he's 36, 37, but he's a good player, because obviously he's been at uh, Premier League clubs, and obviously it obviously shows him he's got that, you know, that fighting spirit to be in the team, and I think he is a good, great player, obviously, with Tom Rose, obviously we're not with um, James Vaughan, it's a big miss, but when, when he's back, he's going to be back to scoring goals. So, obviously, we kept Charlie White really quiet yesterday. Obviously, we don't, the defence done a good job. But, yeah, uh, for the Grimsby, I think, will Grimsby bring anything to the table? I don't think they will because, obviously, the, the games that they've obviously had, they haven't really won. And, obviously, they've got a draw against Colchester. And Colchester aren't in great form either. But, yeah. Going from Sunday Sunday to Wednesday, this is a massive game, massive boost for Tramia if we can get the win. We need the three points more than anything. So if Tramia can get a win and obviously Newport lose on Tuesday, that would be a great result because Tramia will go fourth and then possibly we could be possibly three points behind top of the league. But yeah, we just got to wait and see and we just got to find out and see what happens. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for new. So for next time, I will be doing my reaction video on Wednesday after the Trammy Rovers game. So let's hope we can win this game. It's a massive game. I know Grimsby are in the bottom two, but we need to win this game more than anything. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for new. So for next time, I will see you guys in a bit. All the rights and so I are, mate.